So about 20 minutes ago, one of the craziest rumors probably of the NBA offseason has come out. Kawhi Leonard officially wants out of San Antonio, and his preferred destination is L.A., preferably the Lakers. This is one of my favorite times of the year when the rumors start coming out, when free agency starts happening, when all these trades start happening. I just love the NBA offseason, and today we are going to be doing the Kawhi Leonard Lakers rebuild. I think this would be a crazy trade if this were to happen. I think it, I would love it personally. I think the Lakers could start going in a new direction, start winning games again, and I would honestly love to see the Lakers winning games again, maybe get that Lakers-Celtics rivalry back on that everybody has known to love. But yes, today I'm going to be doing the Kawhi Leonard Lakers rebuild. I already have done this rebuild once, but since these new rumors have come out, I think that I'm going to do it again, and I don't think... Any of you really wouldn't mind it at all. So we are going to keep Luke Walton for one year. We're going to keep our CFO, uh, Scout can stay, and so can our trainer, honestly. So we're just going to go ahead. Uh, actually, are there any players here? If there's any players I'd rather sign, doesn't really look like Dirk's here or anything. So we're just going to bring in Peterson. But again, such a crazy rumor. Uh, there was no real rumor like what the trade would be. I think Kuzma and Ingram and then a first-round pick is what it's going to have to be. I don't think it's going to be like Lonzo Ball. I don't think that because, honestly, just because... The fact that he wants out and he's not actually like, I don't know, like he if they didn't if he didn't want out and they just wanted to trade him, then it would be one thing. But since he wants out, I think you can get him for a little bit cheaper. Uh, so what we're gonna do right now is Ingram. Okay, so Ingram is expired, so I do have to wait till after team player options to do this. But what I'm also going to do, just to make this video a little bit more fun, is I'm gonna take LeBron James's player option off because he always accepts it for some reason, which he's obviously not going to do in real life. And we're also going to be going after LeBron James because I think this we're going to make a super team right now. If I can somehow get LeBron as well, that would be absolutely insane. If I can't get him, I can't get him. But still, it would be absolutely crazy if we could do that. Uh, so do we have any picks in this year's draft? We do have 29 and then 27. Uh, I obviously did have to start at uh, – I couldn't do a start today because the free agency is broken. So I have 2019 free agents. That's why the record's probably a little bit different also. I already had a video coming out today. I had a Jaron Jackson Jr. rebuild coming out today, which you'll probably see tomorrow at this point. But I was just, un I was literally sitting there editing the video, and I get the notification from, first I got it from Shams, then I got it from Woj, that Kawhi wants out. Hopped right into this, doing this rebuild right now. So we do not have any picks. Let's get back to this rebuild. Let's just go up to team player options, bring back Ingram, and we're all set to make this trade. So it's going to be Ingram, Kuzma, and a first-round pick for Kawhi Leonard. So Brandon Ingram, Kyle Kuzma, and a first-round pick unprotected pick from us next year we're obviously going to be good because we are getting Kawhi Leonard and hopefully LeBron James so here is the trade it's a whole lot in my other video I did Brandon Ingram and just a first round pick I think they're gonna have to throw in Kuzma probably and then maybe this they'll maybe they'll move LaMarcus Aldridge after this if they do end up trading Kawhi Leonard but what just what a hot start to this offseason I absolutely love it very happy that it has started. So Kawhi Leonard, newest addition to this Lakers team. I also saw a report from Hoop Central that people close to Kawhi want him to go to the Knicks. That's what they think would be best for his career. I think either team is going to be fine, honestly. Like, Kawhi in L.A., I know there's all the rumors of, like, the Kuzma and Lonzo, like, beefing, but they're just joking. It's just, it's just teammates getting close together, messing with each other. I don't think that's ever going to be an issue, and I don't really think that I'm kind of screwing the Spurs again with their the blue all dang trade. But I don't think that's going to be an issue for LeBron. Kawhi, PG, guys like that that might end up going to LA. I think it's just a bunch of shit, especially because if Kuzma's gone, it's not really going to be an issue at all. So, going to go ahead, throw this max deal at LeBron James. I'm hoping he wants to come here. And no, he does not. All right. Am I going to just put him on the team anyways? I, I might do that just because it would be so fun. If I don't get him, I'm probably going to put Paul George on the team. Actually, I can probably get both these guys. If I was able to do this, and get both these guys. Oh my god. I kind of want to put them both on the team. I kind of want to. Just because of how fun that would be. I don't think I'm going to get either of them right now. And I don't get either of them. But do I put them both on the team? I, I think I might. I honestly think that would be kind of fun. And this is just not. This isn't even really a rebuild. I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to put both Kawhi Leonard. Or not Kawhi Leonard. LeBron James and Paul George on this team. So I'm going to do that right now, just for fun. I know it's just it's just to see what would happen. It's just to see what the team would look like. This isn't a hard rebuild. If I really wanted to rebuild this team, I could do it probably pretty easily. Or easily, that wasn't English. Um, so Randall does not have any offers yet. we got to make it through moratorium. So I'm going to put both these guys on the team, and I'll see you guys once I have them. So look at the squad that we have now. LeBron James, Kawhi Leonard, and Paul George. Just 
absolutely crazy because just just look at this this could happen like this who actually thinks in their right mind that lebron Kawhi, and pg could all be on their team but it literally could it literally could happen and if this does this is gonna be crazy like look at this big four right here if you want to include lonzo like dead ass we're gonna have to have like a vika zubach start at center but still so crazy um i'm not gonna obviously i'm not gonna sign randall i'm just gonna let randall walk i'm gonna bring in a center though um like greg monroe if you want i don't even have the money for greg monroe um, if you wanted to take like a little bit of a cheaper deal, like four years player option, I'm not going to give him a no trade clause, but he does accept another offer. He goes back to the Celtics, but still just so crazy. JaVale McGee, I guess, can come here, but just trying to make this rebuild a little bit fun. Obviously, I know I cheated to get both of them. It's not really a big deal, um, but let's see. Lonzo is going to be starting at point guard. We need to back up. Uh, I'm going to move actually because Paul George's overall only goes down two at shooting guard, so George is going to be starting at shooting guard, and with Josh Hart, the backup, we're good with LeBron at power forward. Kawhi is going to be playing small forward, and we have two centers. So we need a backup power forward, backup small forward, and a backup point guard. So point guards, let me go after, like, Van Vliet. Now I only have a $4 million mid-level exception. How about, who is Tyrone Wallace? Uh, okay, looks like he's going somewhere else. I would take Yogi Ferrell. Not a horrible option. And then I need a backup small forward which I would not be opposed to going after, like, Norman Powell if he wanted to come here as well. Do we get both of them? We do. That's kind of nice. And now we need a backup power forward. I think I'm going to go with, hmm, let me see. Anybody here is, like, decently young still? Jonathan Motley um, probably can't afford him. Of course, I cannot. So I would take, like, can I get Booker still? No, I only have a $1 million <laughs> Mid-level exception at this point. So it's going to have to be somebody pretty bad. Mirza Toledovic probably won't even be in the rotation, but it's fine. We're still going to pick him up. So, again, this team totally crazy. Just trying to see what the rebuild would look like. It's kind of just a simulation. It's not even really a rebuild. Kind of just seeing what would happen if all three of these guys did team up, go to L.A. My personal opinion is it always has been that LeBron is going to go to L.A. I think that's the best spot for him just for, like, his family life as well. So, if this was to happen, it would be absolutely crazy. Again, not a real rebuild. I kind of just simulating it. I'm probably not even going to call it a rebuild in the video, but going to go ahead, sim up to season number one with this rotation. Might actually only be a one-year like sim just to see how they do. And I'll see you guys at the start of season number one with the rotation. So this is going to be the rotation, possibly for the only season. Uh, Lonzo Ball, Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, and LeBron James, and then JaVale McKee. Off the bench, Josh Hart, Avika Zubac, Powell, Farrell, and then I decided just to go nine-man rotation just because I think the team... It's just too good, especially when you have a big three like this. If you call it, want to call it a big four, you really can. But going to go ahead, Sim season number one, probably going to be the top seed in the Western Conference. Again, going to mention it one more time, and then I'll probably stop talking about it. Not really a real rebuild. I kind of just did put on trade override to put these guys on the team because I think definitely LeBron's going to L.A., and I think if Kawhi does, go, or does get traded to L.A. and then LeBron goes, I think Paul George might come too. So... This, is, this would be crazy. Going to go ahead, Sim season number one right now, and I'll see you guys at the end. All right, guys, so end of season one, LeBron does win MVP for us. Pretty cool to see. We go 64 and 18, not too bad. Doncic, rookie of the year, Okafor, Giannis, Bell. Steve Kerr still wins coach of the year, even though we had a better record than him, but that is 2K on just hating me. So we ended up first in the Western Conference, best record in the NBA by two games. Player stats, LeBron led us in scoring, then it was Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, JaVale McGee. Lonzo Ball averaging a double-double, pretty cool to see. So rebounds was LeBron and assists was Lonzo. So first round of the playoffs, taking on the Memphis Grizzlies probably should be a pretty easy sweep. Okay. Well, we took him to seven games somehow, and we're somehow we're also not winning. What? 2K. Look at this team. How are we not winning? No, no, no. 2K? Don't do this to me. I know we're better than them. I will have to hop in with this team, and I will love to do it. We're down by one. I'm going to hop in with this team, take on the Timberwolves, and try to win us a game to put us in the Western Conference Finals. All right, so we're here in the game. Let me make sure we do have the right rotation in. Um, and did Paul George – oh, no, Paul George didn't foul out. Why is Paul George not in the game right now? Who thinks that would be smart? I always play on Superstar because I am horrible in-game. I don't know why Paul George would not be in at a time like this because he is – him and Jimmy Butler are two of the best perimeter defenders in the league. And, of course – oh, he missed – Okay, I thought that was going to go. No, no, no. JaVale McGee is not pushing this. Give it to LeBron. Okay. We're going to call the ISO because there's no way. Who even is this covering LeBron right now? I don't even know who that is, but there's no way they can cover LeBron. That's a foul. Give me that. And, and one. Let's go. PG is going to get in the game now. Make this a little bit better. Kawhi's got 26. LeBron has, let me just see. LeBron has 19 and 12. Not too bad. He's going to hit the free throw. 
going to put us up by two points. I don't even know why this is a game. This really shouldn't be a game right now. Like, we're probably so much better than them. I don't know why Carl Anthony Towns isn't in as well. Doesn't really make much sense to me, but then again, 2K never makes sense. But this very well could just be a one-year simulation if we do win the championship this year. Great defense by Kawhi. Going to push it up to LeBron. Push the floor. Here we go. Um, okay, I'm not going to do that. We're going to do the same thing. Taj Gibson's covering him this time. So we're just going to run the ISO. And we're going to cross over. And Taj Gibson, get out of here. LeBron, finish the hard layup. Gets it to go. This would be so fun. If this was ever to happen, this would just be so cool. And I saw a video on ESPN the other day. It is possible for it to happen. Basically, the trade has to be the guys I just included, plus like Lou Dang to the Spurs. Um, and then I get to like stretch out his contract or something to make this happen, which would just be absolutely crazy. Lonzo going to go up for the slam. Going to put us up by six points. But it's possible. That's what I'm trying to say. It's possible for this to happen. And I think if it were to happen... Oh, I would love that. Just to see another team in the West compete with the Warriors. Like, I don't know if they would beat the Warriors because the Warriors kind of have a big four. This would only be a big three. But still, it would just be absolutely insane. I would personally love it. I, I, as, I have, as I've mentioned like six times, it would be pretty cool. You're probably getting annoyed with me saying I would love it. But it's just crazy. We're going to try to do something with Paul George now. We haven't been using him a lot. I know he's really easy to like use her and just run ISO with. But that's also not normally against Jimmy Butler when you have to do that. So let's just drive. Go right up to the rack. Oh, jeez, hard foul by Gorgie Jang. Damn, okay, Gorgie doesn't, taking it personal that these guys teamed up in L.A. And he thinks that he can, he can beat us. Paul George, I do not have his free throw release down, like, at all. But if we if I hit this free throw, we're obviously going to win the game. So I'm just going to simulate to the next round, especially because this isn't even the NBA Finals. So we do hit that. I'll see you guys once we're in the Western Conference Finals. So one of the matchups that everybody would be looking for right here. Lakers against Warriors, if this were to happen. We're tied at one game apiece. We go down 2-1. We go down 3-1. Okay, but it's not over yet. It's not over yet. Just always know, until you win the last game, it's never over. And we're going to win this one. So 3-2. Could the Warriors potentially blow another 3-1 lead? Doesn't really look... Mm, maybe they will. Okay. You know what's going to have to happen. I'm hopping in we again. We're why down not? one at the moment. Let me make sure I do have the right rotation in. And why? Do they always put Josh Hart in over Paul George in times like these? It's just it's just stupid. Why would, like, there's no need to do that. Like, Paul George is top probably 15 player in the league. It just doesn't make much sense. But this team is not like the Timberwolves. They're much better. God, fuck me. Yeah, I should have saw that coming. That's kind of stupid and kind of annoying. But still... We're good right now. Um, can I get the ISO with Lonzo? Actually, just give me a pick. And we're going to roll. Zubach. Are you... F oh, my God. Come on. Come on. T give me a good oop. No, no. no. Mm, shit. That's not good. Timeout. Give me a timeout. Ugh. Just why was Paul George not in in the first place? That just doesn't make much sense to me. But then again, this game never makes much sense to me. So... Uh, we have Paul George in, so we're all set. I really just wanted to get him in. That's the only reason I took the timeout. But if we don't win this year, I'll sim another year. No, no, I don't think any of you would really mind it too much. But let's go. Nobody cares about the timeout. I'm not actually getting them a breather. I'm just kind of doing this to get PG in. So here we go. Give me the ball. Stop looking stupid. Give Avika Zubac the ball, and here we go. LeBron James kind of playing the point guard role for me right now, and he's going to blow right by Draymond. He's going to go up. Give me that and one. Let's go. Keeping us in the game a little bit, and Draymond Green has now fouled out, which is very helpful. Only at two points, which is very weird, but let's hit the free throw. It's kind of important, and he hits it 100%. So there we go. Making it a four-point game again. The game is within reach, and Lonzo Ball needs to play unbelievable defense on Steph Curry right now. Like, cannot oh pick the oh that was good defense i've never really played defense that good before he doesn't have his dribble andre iguodala take that shot you're not going to hit that iggy on lebron i cannot play very good defense kd shit you're kind of scaring me that's good defense that's good defense let's go push it up give it up to lonzo all right let's go back give it to Kawhi, and we're going to get a pick pick from lebron james and we're going to go up for the slam let's go Two-point game, baby. We're right back in it. Who would have thought I would ever be able to play 2K clutch at all? I'm never able I'm never able to be clutch in this game. But who knows? Here we go. Uh, no, no, no. What are you doing, Kawhi? No. Dude, that's such bullshit. That was such 2K cheese. It's unreal. Uh, give it up to Kawhi. Kawhi, want to hit that shot? Oh, my God. 
It's a wide open three, and your release, I was pretty good with the release. It wasn't great, but it wasn't horrible. Damn. Damn, 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 that would have been nice, but here we go. Still within reach. We still got two and a half minutes to go. Uh, Lonzo's got to play some... Pr what the hell are you doing? There's no way that goes in. Okay, thank you. Give me that board, PG. Push it up to Lonzo, up to LeBron. LeBron, open three. What the... F <laughs> Hit a three. Hit a three, please. I don't really care if it wasn't... Like, it was totally wide open, too, which makes me even a little bit more frustrated. It's not like it was contested. Play some good D on him. Get, the, get me that. Give me that. No, dive. Oh, my God. He dove, like, headfirst into a fan, but... Whew, a little bit little bit concerning right now. You got 11 seconds left on the shot clock. I'm going to use your LeBron. Going to try to get an inbound steal. They're going to try to... Oh, let's go! Speaking of the inbound steal, LeBron, push it up. Go up for the... Oh, what? No! What in the world? Oh, come on. You're kidding me with that. You're kidding me with that. PG, get the ball. It's right there. It's literally for you to take. Come on, Kawhi. Don't get back down. You're a strong man. KD's literally all bone, and he's a snake. It doesn't really matter. Give me that. No, get a rebound, Zubach. You're out here for one reason. If Clay hits that, I'm... Oh, my God. Avika Zubach just cost me a possible championship. That is so annoying. All right, pick. Do something right, Zubach. Give me that pick. And roll. Okay, you suck at this. Kawhi. PG. Up to LeBron. LeBron's going to go and get the N1. But is it too little? Too late. I don't know. I honestly don't know. He's going to have to hit a pretty tough free throw right here. I'm... Fuck. I'm horrible at free throws. I'm horrible at this game in general, but I actually haven't been playing too... LeBron, turn. That's game. See you guys next season. So maybe the Warriors were just a little bit too much for us at this point, but we are going to go on to another year. We still have another year. And the Sixers <laughs> beat the... <laughs> 2K. And beat Finals MVP, but still. It's all good. It's all good. We're going to go on to one more year. We're going to keep... um Whatever the hell his name is. Who's our head coach? Luke Walton. That's who it is. But... Don't think we're going to have any picks in this year's draft. We did trade our first round pick last year. So, going to roll with pretty much the team at this point. We do have to re-sign Kawhi, I'm pretty sure. Which I know he said he was willing to do with re-signing with LA. So, we're going to go ahead and give Zubox the qualifying, even though he kind of beefed up my championship year. But we're going to go ahead and give Kawhi the max. And is he... Why is this the most I can give him? If he doesn't come back here... I'm putting him back on the team. Like, that's just so stupid. He's... He, Kawhi's coming back. Don't worry about that. I'm not renouncing the rights on him. I'm going to renounce the rights here, not on Zubach. I'm going to put him back. Don't worry. He would never leave to go to the Jazz. That's just one of the stupidest things I've ever heard. He's coming back. Do not worry. I know I've been cheating a lot in this rebuild. It's not even really a rebuild, but give me... Can I? Do I have enough money for... Oh, I do have enough money for Dwayne Depp. Oh, I have a $9 million mid-level exception. Is there actually anybody better I could get? Oh, wait. Kawhi's still here. Come, will you come to the team now? He wants to go to the Bulls now. Is he going to come to my team or no? Okay. Well, welcome back, Kawhi. But we still have our $9 million mid-level exception, which using on a guy like JJ Redick, we actually already have Josh Hart, so we don't really need him. Uh, if I could just go after, like, hmm, 9 mil for, like, Rashawn Holmes, honestly, wouldn't be bad. Get a young starting center, a little bit better than probably Zubac. So if Rashawn Holmes wants to accept that, he does. So we're all set there. Going to go ahead and pr I think Zubac is just going to accept you know what, I'll just pay the man. Who really cares? So, Zubach, welcome back to the team. Yes, you're back. So, I'll see you guys at the start of season number two, which is going to be the last year. Hopefully, we can win a championship. So, this is going to be the rotation for the final season. Lonzo Ball, Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, and LeBron James. Also, Rashawn Holmes. I don't know why I thought it was four guys. Off the bench, Josh Hart, DeVale McGee, Norman Powell, Yogi Ferrell. So, Zubach is not going to get any minutes. I'm good with Rashawn Holmes. Younger center. Well, not probably younger, but a little bit better center. So, Gonna go ahead, sim season number two, hopefully we can be the one seed, and let's go win a championship. All right, so end of season number two, Russell Westbrook MVP. We go 60 and 22 this year. We do f lose a few wins, um, but still, Rashawn Holmes actually does win most improvements. It's pretty cool. And once again, don't get coach of the year. This time, we don't have the best record in the Western Conference, which is a bit unfortunate, but still, it's fine. We are good with our team and how they are looking. So here we go. Let's hop right into the playoffs. We're not the Warriors. We're taking on the Nuggets in the first round. Should be a sweep, but then again, I mean, we lost last year. Well, we almost lost last year in the first round and then in the second round. But still, it's all good. Now taking on the Thunder. We're better than this team. Please just stop. Just don't lie to yourself. And there we go. And the Warriors lost in the first round. Okay, maybe we can't sleep on this Timberwolves team. They just beat the Warriors and then they beat the Rockets. So, damn, and they're beating <laughs> they beat us. What are they made of? Did they, did they sign somebody else? Like, did the Timberwolves add somebody? Demet... Demet... Demetrius Jackson's an 81 over... What the fuck? 
Okay. That's just when I, you know 2K is on some BS. But we're going Game 7 with them. We have to face the Hawks in the NBA Finals if we were to make it. 2K, don't let me lose. I will hop in if I have. We don't have to hop in. We're going to the NBA Finals to take on the Atlanta Hawks. So we're going to win a championship. Um, that's pretty obvious. Hawks have... Uh, Schroeder... Oh my... God. Get out of here. This is... So Win game one, win game two, win game three, and we're going to sweep them, but we're going to hop into this game. Okay, well maybe we won't sweep them. Oh, maybe we will. We're going to hop in, and we're going to try to close out this game and win us the championship. So here we go. Let's try to close out this game, keep our seven-point lead. Finally, they keep Paul George in when they, like, we need him. Shit, no, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, God, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, here we go. Uh, give the ball to Kawhi, and we're just going to blow by Miritich. Nicole Miritich thinking he can keep up with Kawhi. Leonard, baby, that's not going to happen. Not going to happen at all. We're just going to hit this free throw. Hopefully hit the free throw, make it a 10-point game. So, absolutely beautiful. I'm not sure how the Hawks thought they were going to want to win a game against us. That would just be absolutely crazy. I'm also not really sure how they're in the NBA Finals, like a year after they're, like the supposed Sim. Give me that strip. Okay, Mario Zonia. <laughs> this is a joke. Schroeder thinks he's got something on Lonzo. He's got nothing. Good def. Okay, that's just a good layup. That was pretty good defense. Like, you can't really do much about that. That was literally just straight up good defense. But Lonzo's going to run it. Uh, I kind of wanted it to be LeBron, but can I get a pick for Sean Holmes? I also saw a thing in the video that I watched that said, like, Nerlens Noel, like, might have to come, or, like, not have to come, but might be interested in joining this team. That wouldn't be bad. Still young, still has some potential, and they are re represented by the same, he's represented by the same agent, I think, as Kawhi. Ooh, that was kind of nice. Uh, yeah, as Kawhi, so obviously it wouldn't be the money he was looking for originally, the money that Dallas offered him, and then he stupidly declined, which I don't know why he did. It was like $16 million. He's like, no, I'm a max player. I'm like, N just no. nobody thought you were a max player, Nerlens. As much as I think you have potential, and as much as I wish you were like a little bit better at what you were supposed to be, he he's not. So if he were to join this Lakers team, I would kind of like it. I think it would be a good fresh start for him. You get to play around three superstars, possibly even four. If they don't have to trade Lonzo for Kawhi, which again, Dennis Schroeder has 48 points. What the fuck? What in the world? <laughs> okay. That's how he was 21 and 22 on a field goals. Lonzo, step it up. What are you doing, bro? What what is this defense? Like what? 48 and well, actually now 49 points for Dennis Schroeder? A, okay. I don't. I don't know what that was. I just kind of. I'm just kind of shooting. I'm. I, I didn't realize it. Like I realized. That I don't. I kind of forgetting that to get that out of here. Get that out of here. I'm like forgetting that it's an eight point game and I could still possibly blow this. But I'm not going to. Quick layup with Lonzo. But I would be interested to see if the Lakers would still make this deal if it wasn't like Ingram and Kuzma. If it was like Kuzma and like Lonzo, and then like maybe you have to stretch Lou Aldang's contract and give it to them. And then maybe an, even a first round pick. Like, that would be interesting for me because I just don't know if the Lakers want to give up Lonzo personally to get this big three. If I knew I was getting LeBron and Paul George as well, I would probably have to make the trade if I were the Lakers. Just because I know you're giving up a prospect that, like, has great promise and definitely can be probably a top point guard in the NBA if he does pan out to what he was supposed to be. I know first year he didn't really look like he was ever going to be like that. He kind of had a struggle, but every rookie struggles. Every rookie struggles. Not every look, rookie looks like Donovan Mitchell or Jason Tatum. Like, just stuff like that. It's not going to happen. But still, I would probably do it. You'd have to convince me a little bit otherwise. But still, to get a big three like this, and it might be a risk because obviously you have to make the Kawhi trade before you have to go after LeBron and Paul George. I know that for a fact. But still, probably worth the risk. And if you if you only end up getting like LeBron out of it, I would still say it's a win because then you have money to go maybe sign another point guard. Obviously not like a good one like Chris Paul or somebody like that. But at least one that you have a little bit of money for because you don't have to take on Paul George's salary now. But still, very, very interesting to see if this would happen. I think, personally, it probably... If all the pieces were to fall into place, that'd be crazy. I don't know if it will. Looks like we put some of our subs in right now. But I know I'm not even like talking about the game. I'm kind of just talking about if this were to happen in real life. But here, Yogi Ferrell looks like he's about 5'2 out here. I know he's like six foot, but he still looks so short. Why not? Let's take a contested three with Norman Powell, and he's going to hit that... To put the game out of reach, all right, I'll see you guys with the finals MVP. So finals MVP, there are three options for who it could be, and it is LeBron James. So, again, we're going to stop right here just because we did win a championship. I know I turned on trade override to get Kawhi and Paul George on this team, but 
it's not unrealistic. We're kind of just doing this for fun, seeing how the team would look. Actually, I'm going to move just to get his overall up, just to make it look pretty. We're going to move Kawhi Leonard back. I know nope, went to go there. Back to small forward. But again, I have so many thoughts about this. If you want me to do a video kind of talking about what I think uh, would this team be like if this were to ever happen, how cool it would be, I'd be more than happy to do that. Let me know that down below in the comment section. I hope you guys aren't mad at me for putting Kawhi and PG on this team. Just kind of an interesting concept to see if it were to ever happen. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. I really hope this comes true just to see a team compete with the Warriors as much as I would love to see Kawhi maybe on the Celtics. But also, I'm not really doing that, especially because he said he wants to sign with L.A., and maybe not just like a one-year rental, not giving up Tatum, not giving up Brown. Just I just wouldn't do that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts on this whole situation down below in the comment section. If you guys want to make sure to subscribe, leave a like down below, and I will see you guys all in the next video.